Hello, and thank you once again for watching the video edition of my remarks to the McHenry County Board for its July 13th Committee of the Whole meeting. I'll start today with some exciting news. As many of you have already heard, Governor Pritzker announced last week that the state will be partnering with Metra to restore rail service between Chicago and Rockford, with a train stop in Huntley finally coming to fruition. The $275 million project will be funded through the Rebuild Illinois Capital Program and aims to support two daily round trips by the end of 2027. This is huge. This is great for Huntley and all of McHenry County, it's great for Rockford, and it's great for Boone and Winnebago counties, both of which partner with us in the Comprehensive Economic Development Strategy Plan to help further develop our regional economy. County Administration and County Medra Board Representative Ken Kaler will keep us updated as this project moves forward. Also on the subject of mass transit, County Administration is continuing to watch as the Chicago Metropolitan Agency for Planning gets close to revealing a plan for how the Regional Transportation Authority can address predicted shortfalls starting in 2026. Last Friday, July 7th, and again yesterday, July 12th, County Administrator Pete Austin convened a meeting with the administrators of the other four collar counties, as well as representatives from their respective transportation and planning offices, to discuss what the collar counties would like to see in CMAP's plan. On Monday, July 3rd, I had the pleasure of attending as Chief Judge Michael Shamil swore in Diana Hartman to a full term as our Regional Superintendent of Schools. Diana has done an outstanding job reforming the office and moving it forward, and she will continue to excel in the role. Days later, Diana announced that the Pearson View Testing Lab in the ROE's new office in McHenry is now open for business, giving county residents a local site to take high school equivalency exams, as well as more than 200 professional certification and licensing exams. Thank you and congratulations to Diana and her staff for seeing this project through to completion. Last Friday, July 7th, Chief Judge Chamil also swore in a new Associate Judge, Cynthia Lamb. With Judge Lamb now on the bench, the 22nd Judicial Circuit has more women judges than at any time in history. Congratulations to Valley High Nursing and Rehab for winning the Silver Quality Award from the American Healthcare Association and the National Center for Assisted Living. Valley High was one of only 63 nursing homes nationwide and only one of four in Illinois to be awarded this honor in 2023. Our nursing home won the bronze medal in 2016 and has worked tirelessly since, including through the COVID-19 pandemic and the tremendous challenges it presented to assisted living facilities to earn the silver medal. Thank you to Tom Anarella, Assistant Administrator Tara Pulte, and all of Valley High's talented staff for this achievement. And finally, last night our EMA was tracking some storms that came through our area. There were reports of some roof and ancillary structure damages, and Dave Christensen is out this morning to further assess the damages. Thank goodness there have been no reports of injuries. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can visit the county meeting portal at McHenryCountyIL.gov, as well as our new McHenry County Meetings YouTube page to watch our meetings live or whenever you wish.